Here's my latest brainstorm. Instead of splitting these bowl blanks with a chainsaw, I thought maybe I can do it with a sawmill. You don't get to see this first one because what I thought was a fresh battery was not. But I have a few more to do. You'll get to see them. I don't know how much you missed of that. These Hero 8 batteries ain't no heroes in my estimation. But, cut this on the sawmill. I'm going to do another one so you can see it. Two spalted alder bowl blanks from the same short log. I cut out the pith, which has to come out of the bowls anyway. And I've got enough left here that maybe I can uh, do something special with that. But, right now, I'm going to do another one. It's going to look just like this. Maybe two more. Heck, maybe three. Let's see, this is a little bigger, I think. I think this has to come out a little bit. What's the best way to go about this? Clamp with like a flat side. But I can't clamp that high. It's I have to be clamping against the 2x4, not above it. Okay, that's solid enough. I'm going to want this. I want the blade to go above the pith, above the center of the log, but it's hard to see where that is on that end because it's dark and wet and a little bit muddy. The blade on this sawmill right now has got some missing teeth, so if I tear it up on this experiment, it won't matter much. Right about there. I need the cut to be just a little bit higher. I lower the blade about an inch and a half. This cut will go below the pith. So it's about two inches thick. It's got the pith in it. Uh, really messed up here, but get some small stuff out of here on the lathe. This one. 
bigger, deeper. It's a nice inclusion. Some of that might survive turning. Here's another one. This has been lying around for two or three years, maybe more. I have no idea what the condition is inside. A better way to do this would be to lay a board across the bunks and put the short log on top of that. But I sort of got started doing this by impulse and grabbed whatever was at hand. I'll use a plank or a board next time. Get a better position for the plank. This one is thinner than I wanted because I was down to my 2x4. I think I got most of the pith. There's that crack that was in it. I think that was firewood. This, ah, this is pretty punky. Yeah, look at that. Firewood. This half, a little bit of punk right there. I'll keep that one. Now I've got a bigger one over here. This may be too big for the middle. Seventeen. No problem. Nope. I'll replace this with a one by. It'll work. this. Hell no. Can't do it. What I have to do is back up to this next bay. Or I could simply cut this down a little bit. Sure. Making it up as I go along, as usual. My lathe will go 16, that's it. 
so I don't need an 18 inch blank. There. That's going to be a lot of leverage up mighty high. I'm going to take this slow and easy. Of course, the intelligent thing to do would be to put in the long log stop and a 2x4 in front of it to support the log higher up, closer to the blade. I cut extremely slowly, hoping that there wouldn't be enough force to flip the log out of the clamp. The cam clamp I'm trying to use there was not designed for this sawmill and I can't get it back far enough to clamp even this reduced size blank. So I moved the whole thing down to the original clamp which has a greater reach. This is why I prefer the cam clamp. Could I have done all this faster with a chainsaw? Probably so, but this was an experiment and it worked. I'll keep it in mind for the future.
So we got that big one that caused all the trouble. That was already split with the axe and the maul. One, two, three, four, five, six total. Good in time. Here's what happened to one of those bowl blanks. But that's a story for another time and for my other channel. Thanks for watching. Well, that is why you wear a face shield.